Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Abnaz and in this video we are going to discuss about how to get data into paginated report builder. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Let's get started. I have made a video of how to download and install the Power BI Report Builder in my previous video. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Once you have downloaded and installed the Report Builder, and if you open this one, see the first screen, it will come up. You have three options here. One is you can go with the new report and start your table or matrix. Or if you want a chart wizard, you can use this one. Or if you have a map wizard, you can use this one. Or you can use a blank report. And the next one is you can open the file. You hardly have a file on your PC or desktop. You can use this option. And you can click this one. It will open up the recent files what you have created. In this example, I am going to use this one blank report. If you don't want this sort of thing, you just can just click on the Tick option don't show this dialog box at a starter and the blur system. Okay, now I'm clicking on the blank report. First is the home tab, you have the basic formatting options under. And if you go to this one, insert, you have an option to table insert, matrix insert, the list, and the data visualization charts are there. And I like the most is the indicators given in SSRI. And the reporting item like text boxes, images, plane and rectangle. Even you can add the sub report, the beautiful thing in the report builder, and header and footer. If you go on to the view tab, you have this option report data. This will give all the data sources, data sets, images, and parameters, and the grouping option in the below section. The row group and column group and the parameter tab under tab is the latest advantage uh, in the recent release in power BI report builder and after the properties of uh, in the right side you know it is common in all the applications and then there's ruler in the designing tab window now to get the data just Go to this one report data on the right side in the data source tab. Right click on this, add Power BI data set connection or add a data source by any local data sources. To have Power BI data set, you can click on this one. You need to sign into the Power BI service, and then it will show up all the data set available on the Power BI service. You can connect with this one. I'm not going to cover this in this video just to have an overview of it I'm going to use this one data source add a data source in this example you can even connect your remote data sources like Amazon Web Services or Azure if you have your data server, database server on that platform okay now you need to give data source your name and then Select the data connection type. You have these options available as of now SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Azure database, Microsoft SQL Analysis Services, Oracle database, Enter data, Teradata, Azure Data Warehouse, Azure Analysis Services. I am selecting SQL Server. If you know the connection string, you can directly type it here or you can use the build option on the right side. Click on the build. You select the data source as a SQL Server SQL Client. If you want to change, you can change this option. Okay, the server name. I'm just using the local database as of now. And also use the connection as a Windows authentication. If you want to use the SQL Server authentication, you can use also this one. And you need to give the username and password of it. 
if you want to save this one you can use this one save my password it will now connect to database select our entire database name it will load the databases available on your server that I want to select this one as an example JW or even if you have a database file you can attach it here using these options click on the test connection test connection succeeded so click on ok and then click on ok now clicking on ok it has added a new data source here now we need to add a data with table so go to data set right click on this add data set give a data set in if you notice this you have this much this option use a data set embedded in my report this data source data set will embed only in this report you can't use it in any other report and you have one more option like shared data set if you use the power bi services or uh, ssrs sql server reporting services you may have a shared data set you can use that data set in multiple reports Whereas in this example, I'm using the embedded report, which is going to use only in this report. Okay, the data source. Data source, um, this is now you have created. If you want to create one more, you can click on the new. It will open up again the same window. You have three types of query, text, table, and query procedure. Um, text, you need to type it here. It is similar to view or something. Can use that if you have a table you can select the table as of now it's disabled because text table and view almost all the same you can type it here directly In the next option is stored procedure you can also use the stored procedure if you look at all this stored procedure what you have you can use this one even you can use the query design option here below or you can import uh, if you have an sql or rdl file you can import the query files here i'm just using this query designer now it will open up all the database table views and stored procedure in that database and this is in the first category master and also the category master It gives all the data table, fields, uh, table name, and field name. If you need to filter any of those, you can use the filter option. Click on add filter, it will list out all the database table, tables in the current query. And if you want to filter any of those in the tables, if you have not selected, you can also use this one option here. If and you have an option is is not is any of is none of is more than is more than or equal to is less than is less than or equal to i'm just clicking on run query So you just select a category subcategory column. So you just select subcategory master table with all the columns. So click on the refresh field. It will bring up all the columns to the field names. Yeah. The next option is options. So in the collision case, in certain other options are there. If you want to use, you can use this one. The next one is a filter. If you want any filter, you can use the filter. In this filter table, or if you have a parameter, you can use this one parameter. I will cover all these things maybe in future. So as of now, just clicking on this one and OK. It will bring up all the columns in the data table. And if you want to uh, look at this, you can just drag and drop the fields from this to here. Just dragging off the serial number and then the name. 
form and run to load the data so it is a upper level because we are just drag and drop the field it load the first or the one if we use the table it, it will load all the data like insert table and insert table we will drag and drop click on this one serial number click on this one name click on this one when category name so click on run so it loads all the sub category so formatting of table and all shall i will cover in next upcoming videos this one you can get data into the paginated report builder hope you like this video if you like this video please click on the big thumbs up button also share with your friends and colleagues if you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices please share your comment feedback and queries in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video